So I asked Derek to do a bit of filling. Well, yeah. What you got to say to that, eh? I think you're making more of a mess, Derek. You're not even in the bloody holes, mate. I'd use your fingers and get them in with the fingers. Well, once you get it wet... Don't worry, I'll, I'll have another go after you. Oh, shut up. And do it properly. Oh. And have to sand off about an inch thick of it. There ain't nothing on there, look. These are all shear bolts. I'm going to show you the process of removing them. They're an absolute ball rake. They make a hell of a lot of noise, but I want to get my windows fitted now inside as soon as possible because we're close to getting this van finished now. So this is a job I've not been looking forward to because we we spent a few weeks stripping this van and getting rid of these shear bolts. So here it goes. This is what you've got to do. You've got to knock the centers the centers out they've all got a, a pin in them so look that's stuck in there now because i've done two of them and i thought i'll tell you what i'll record this process put my glasses on so i can't see the centers right and then you literally give them a whack that one or yeah that one has taken me three or four whacks and it don't half echo in this van the noise is incredible fortunately that was just one that's not one. I need to sort of stand square onto it, but I'm not, I don't want to stand on the water tank. Not square onto it, sideways onto it. There we go, that's through. That one looks like it welded itself. That got it. And the last one. Right, then the next process. No, Derek, that goes on a impact gun. Oh, that's what that's for. That's why it's got the hex shank. So I buy these bits. They're um, Milwaukee. I think they're about six quid each, six, seven quid each. They're an impact gun drill bit. And these were a game changer in removing these these bolts. We tried to sorry Derek. Was... No, it's not that set in then. Let's try that one. There we go. Now that's lucky, that's removed one of the heads, okay? But sometimes they just spin and spin, so then you've got to get the grinder out and cut the rest of them off. But these drill bits are a game changer. Glowing. Got that one? Honestly, before, just with a, a standard drill bit, there's a couple of you out there now that have got these vans, you'll feel my pain. But these drill bits are vicious. With a decent impact gun, 
Right, that's them all off. Oh, apart two. from, is it two? Yeah. One. One. Oh. Yeah, one. I'm trying to take a bit more off of that one first. Oh, yeah, well done, done, Derek. Don't listen to me, mate. What do I know? You know nothing. Clearly. Hey. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. And loose in the other side. Get a bend in the middle otherwise. Do you know what? You are the absolute master at stating the bloody obvious. There we go. Right. And that's how I met your mother. <laughs> and we're left with these pins which these bolts basically screw into they're like a riv nut type of idea all i do with those is i just tap them back in and then when i come to put the windows the new windows back in which are so basically i'm keeping this framework i might i'll be painting them up the windows will be cut and fitted into this when i come to fit them back I'm just simply going to be putting raw plugs into these and then some nice screws that I've got which will go into them you know the nice big headed ones so they look industrial sorted we can get this covered now Derek and then we can get this sink fixed in place Do you know what I've just done? There was two lines marked on here because I was going to start doing the other side first. I marked that out. I've gone and cut the wrong line, and I. What a complete and utter spanner. Still, that'll work for next <laughs> for that side. Lucky, I have got plenty of this profile. What a complete idiot, we'll carry on. Just looking at all my drill bits now, I've pretty much snapped all of my tiny little drill bits, anything from two, two to three mil, which is what I need for, for this. They're all snapped, I've, I've ruined them all. Um, so all I'm gonna use is one of these self drilling screws and that'll do just as good not better than a drill bit just like that as Tommy Cooper said just like <laughs> so that it goes across um, where you've got two um, LED profile LED channel profiles when I put the diffuser on I prefer to put the diffuser across two pieces of channel I just think it tidies it up a little bit better now I'm going to be totally honest with everyone with hindsight and maybe a little bit more planning, I would have built these cabinets different. I would have probably just used straight 12 mil ply 
without the framework, glued and screwed, glued and nailed, whatever, without this framework, this chunky framework. What I'm coming up against now is when the LED lights are going across the back, I've got to drill a place for the hole for all the cable to go through. And there's quite a large plug on these. And I didn't, <laughs> now that's wider than the LED channel, or it's just as wide. I'd have to make that size hole in the cupboard underneath and it's going through the 34 by 34 timber so i've been cutting these plugs off soldering on new thin wires to run that through and i've just got to the stage now where i'm bored of that i want someone else to do the soldering for me where's derek when you want him hello baby hey sweetheart oh, yeah, you're right. how are you I've got to put the sensor through the um ah. right so red green blue white and if you press white again and keep your finger oh, on yeah. it yeah other ones come on and they're yeah. brighter um so if we make those for example red I'm going to solder off of them, run the cables around so that they do the same across the, the other side. Right, it's MOT day today. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit anxious. Um, I think I need to pop a pill or two just to calm myself down. The history of the van is it's passed every single MOT without one single advisory. You'd expect that from these sort of vehicles, but when I was looking at these, I looked at quite a few although they would always pass their, um, their MOTs, but most of them, or no, all of them, sorry, had, had um, a fair few advisories, and I would have thought being a government vehicle, they would, have, they would have dealt with these advisories immediately, you know, but um, anyway, so we're going for an MOT, it's 20 past 12, the MOT's booked in at 1.30, fingers crossed, toes crossed, eyes crossed, legs crossed, the whole lot man i'm i'm just sort of like just trying to get the van so it's drivable because there's tools everywhere things standing up tripod of course you know last time i drove off everything just i just you know it just all falls down and i'm pretty sure i've got it so that it's drivable no doubt as soon as i start driving we'll hear the almighty crashes bangs i mean i don't think there's anything to fall down now right let's go this is my wife, Dina. Hello. Right, oh. We've been working on the van, we've had a few wines, and and we think it's time to stop now because we know what's gonna happen in the morning. We'll look at what we've done, and we think it's absolutely amazing, and then look at it tomorrow and go, oh my God, what have we done? We'll feel that, they will do. But anyway, right, so what have we achieved? Loads. Before we go, I, yeah, yeah, do you know something? We've, nice we've actually done quite a lot. We've been super, super busy. We've been organising the funeral. Yeah, and thank you for all your kind words. That's really, really nice. Thank you to everyone that sent messages. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, just to reiterate that, thank you very much, everybody, for the kind words. And, and, um, and in our very early days of this channel, I mean, we're literally a few months old, you know, We've, we've got together a few of you that comment regularly and and, and very supportive. It's, it's actually quite amazing. But anyway, so we've been busy with, with the funeral and every single second we get in between everything else, we've been really trying to crack on with this van. Derek, he's been there all the time. I've had to tell that man to go home because... <laughs> Bless him. Yeah, yeah, Derek, right? I can see he's in a lot of pain, I can see he's struggling, and I'm, I, I'm, you know, he just won't stop. And I have to say to him, Derek, go home. <laughs> it's, it's true, you've, seen, you've, you've witnessed it. I go, Derek, go home. Yeah, he's got a heart of gold though, he just, he just yeah. carries on and carries on. And... You know, uh, <laughs> and then sometimes <laughs> it's like, I've got to go home. <laughs> I've got to go home, boy. <laughs> Anyway, um, right, so you can see the flashing lights. And this. We've, 
managed now to get all the walls covered. All the walls are covered in the three mil um, sticky foam insulation. And then we've put, uh, it's called a faux leather. Lovely material, it really feels like leather as well. So basically the walls are covered in this leatherette sort of material, except for the bedroom area, which is carpeted as, I think, I think, it was shown in a previous video, or it might even be in this video, I don't know. I think it is, yeah. But all the shelves are up, now getting all the LED lighting up. I'm just going to pan around quickly. You can see we've got the LED lighting going on this side. We've still got to fit it on the, on the other side yet. But basically, all around, we're having the colour changing, uh, disco, mood lighting, whatever you want to call it. Each locker is independent with its own controller, although it all works off of the one remote control, which we've now got four. So, so each um, locker will have independent LED color changing lights. This is where the control panel is going to be, or one of them. And I've just fitted a strip of white LED. So, so we that's independent. This is separate, so we can sort of like prepare food. Still have some funky lighting going on. And then the kitchen light, oh, sorry, the, the cooker light. Yeah, the cooker lights, there's two of them. So we've got one at the back, one at the front, both on separate lights, because we don't need both LEDs on it at the same time, or we may well do, but so they're independent. It will be the same up here above the sink and in the bedroom area above the bed, we'll have another strip of uh, mood lighting, color changing LEDs. So the walls, as you can see, have now all been covered in the, the um, foam insulation plus faux leather material. The sink area has been covered in the uh, faux leather, the same as what the sofa area has been covered in. But the cooker area is a little bit undecided at the moment, but the chances are we're gonna go with sort of tile, tiling this area. It might even be those sort of sticky tiles. We're not 100% certain, but around the cooker area, we're not really, really that keen on using the faux leather material. If it burns, it's stuck. It's like to a blanket. So um, we're going to tile it. What do you reckon we tile it? Uh-huh, yeah? absolutely, yeah. We'll see. We're, still, we're, we're, we're totally undecided about the kitchen area at the moment, but we really are motoring at the moment even though we've been super busy. Now, we, we're having to travel from London to uh, our, my mother-in-law's house, my wife's mum's house, um, which is sort of 60 odd miles, miles away. We're doing that almost daily. I'm not so much, my wife's doing it, but um, we're pretty much on top of everything now. That's, that's why she sort of decided to introduce herself now properly, but but um, yeah, so we've got all the windows off and when the guy uh, that is doing my windows, who I have told you that he's, he wasn't coming back for another month or so, he's back, but he's now in isolation. So as soon as possible, I want my windows done, but I've taken out all of the inside windows now. We'll have our uh, stickers available very soon and I'm kind of, there has been a comment about <laughs> we want some Derek t-shirts. <laughs> I think we really need to do some we Derek t-shirts, don't we? Yeah, yeah well, I think we really need to. Again, today I've had to He's really tell him to go home. His knee was swollen, seriously, it was so swollen. I blew Derek's <laughs> soldering iron up, I have no idea how. <laughs> My soldering iron is supposed to be better quality than Derek's and it's a piece of junk from Screwfix. It seems to have a hot point. And we're not talking about washing machines, <laughs> right? It's just rubbish. So, but it's getting us by at the moment. And Derek's soldering iron was amazing. Until you got your hands on it. <laughs> Until I got my hands on it, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Well, I can't, I can't let Derek do the soldering because he's, he looks like, he looks like he's fencing. <laughs> he, he does, I give him a soldering iron, he's like, yeah! <laughs> Derek's already, already been to hospital, 
I told him not to touch the grinder. I was grinding one day, oh, yeah. and I had to take yeah, I had, I had to take the uh, guard off of it. I know you shouldn't do. I know, I know, but my health and safety, I got to deal with it. And I was using the grinder because I had to really get a low profile on something. And I told Derek, Derek, I'm just popping indoors. Do not touch that grinder. <laughs> I've come out. He's pouring with blood. <laughs> so I tell the kid not to pick up sweets. It is, isn't it? it... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so anyway, right, enough, enough <coughs> of this um, waffle now. Right, um, update on the MOT. It failed. Absolutely gutted, but it failed on two very, very easy things, stupid things that I should have dealt with and I was dealing with them but I totally forgot when I took it to the MOT station one is a bloody fog light that needs a new bulb two the handbrake needs it, it, the wording was handbrake insufficient or parking brake insufficient so I've been under this morning I've tightened it up handbrakes a lot better now both of those issues are, are resolved, so it will pass the MOT, but I'm absolutely gutted because the MOT history of this vehicle, it's passed first time, every time, no advisories. So um, yeah, I've, I've, I've sort of spoiled things a little bit. But anyway, that's an update. So I will have the MOT within the next couple of days. I'm using the impact gun on this bit because the chuck on the drill would spin and it will touch this material because I really have to get close to the back here to pass the um, LED lights through. All the uh, colour LEDs fitted, mood lighting, disco lights. I've just got one locker to fit just white LEDs. I only want just like uh, white LEDs on switches, not remote controls, just on switches above the sink. Basically above all the service areas like the cooker, the sink and what I call like preparation area. Plus this is where I'm going to be editing videos and stuff when we're on the road. So I just want white light on switches, keeping it simple. Okay everyone, I'm going to draw the video to a close now. But before I do, I just want to quickly discuss the colors that are going on inside this van. So we've got gray, white and orange. That's the theme throughout the whole of the van. Gray, white and orange. Now. You can see on the lockers, we've got the grey carpeting with the orange tea trim. So grey carpeting with the orange tea trim. The bedroom, lighter grey. So this all fits in with, um, with the outside of the van. And the rest of the furniture, 
I all the lockers, all the uprights, the drawers, under the sink, you know, the cooker area, all the lockers, all the woodwork is going to be, don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but basically it's going to be this orange. It's a leverette material, the same as the white walls. This is the stuff that is going to cover all of the lockers. The cushions we're having made by a company called Wagtail Campers. You'll find them on, on Instagram, just type in Wagtail Campers. They are brilliant at their work. They'll recover your, your uh, front seats for you, but they're doing the cushions for us and they're doing it in this orange material, not this particular material. We're picking those cushions up tomorrow and we can't wait because I'm hoping that this stuff will all be on the walls by tomorrow. It's not gonna be in this video, it'll be in the next video. So this is the orange. As I say, it's not to everyone's uh, cup of tea, but we, but we really like it. So that'll all be in the next video. That's it then. Till the next video, guys. I'll catch up with you later. If you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. And if you've got any questions, please ask them. Right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe, everyone.